This is an amazing place. The Lakeside Energy from Waste facility at Colnebrook near Heathrow Airport. It cost £160 million to develop and it's one of the most sophisticated facilities of its type in Europe. It's capable of generating enough power to meet the domestic needs of nearly 50,000 households. And its exhaust emissions meet the most stringent European legislation. The plant is a joint venture between two specialist recycling and waste management companies, Grundon and Viridor. And it shows what's possible when two forward-thinking companies get their heads and investment plans together. One of the things you realise when you look into waste is just how varied and different it all is. Ideally, we all want to reduce waste or reuse it. Where waste can't be prevented, we try to recycle it. And we're always looking for new ways to recycle more and more waste, and we're getting better at it. But some things can't be reduced, reused or recycled. So what do you do? In what's known as the waste hierarchy, there's a fourth step after reduce, reuse and recycle, which is recover. Or specifically, energy recovery. And that's what an energy from waste facility like this one is all about. It's a smarter and better option than simply dumping what can't be recycled into the ground. The fifth and final option, disposal into landfill. Here at Lakeside, material which can't be recycled, known as residual waste, is put to productive use. Burning it at high temperatures, under controlled conditions, in our modern, efficient, purpose-built facility. The result? Less landfill and lots of energy. This first-class facility processes more than 410,000 tonnes of residual waste each year. Imagine Wembley Stadium filled to the roof with rubbish. That's how much waste is diverted from landfill each year. At the same time, the plant generates enough power to meet the domestic needs of nearly 50,000 homes. That's enough electricity to power all the houses in Slough. Household and commercial residual waste is delivered into a massive bunker that can hold 7,500 tonnes of the stuff. Grab cranes mix the waste and load it into a hopper, where hydraulic rams push it into one of two incineration lines. At this point, waste becomes fuel. It typically burns at 950 degrees centigrade for at least two seconds. This creates the heat to produce power. It turns water into superheated steam, which drives a high-pressure turbine to power an electric generator. Once the steam has done its job turning the turbines, it's condensed and returned to the boiler. All that's left from the combustion flow process is metal and ash. These are moved away on conveyor belts and the metal is separated by magnets and collected for recycling. The ash is taken away for reprocessing. It is then used in road building and construction as a substitute for raw materials taken from the land and the sea. Around a third of the plant is devoted to cleaning up exhaust gases. The hot gases from the combustion process are treated to remove pollutants. For instance, lime is used to absorb acid gases, activated carbon to fix combustion byproducts, and ammonia to remove oxides of nitrogen. Advanced filtering systems also capture the ash and small particles which would otherwise go up the chimney. The gas cleanup residues are then disposed of in an appropriately licensed disposal facility. The operation is constantly monitored against the toughest environmental standards and the plant operates to a strict environmental permit. The Environment Agency has 24-7 access to both the plant and the online monitoring data. The plant powers itself and generates enough surplus power, around 34 megawatts of electricity, to be exported every year into the national grid. 
95% of plant input, which would otherwise have been landfilled, is recycled or converted to energy, primarily as electricity for homes. Energy from waste helps local councils and businesses recover value from their non-recyclable waste. Working well alongside recycling schemes and reducing landfill disposal, as demonstrated by some of our European neighbours. There are more than 400 energy from waste plants across Europe. Put simply, energy from waste is the vital step between recycling and landfill, a step which maximises energy recovery and resource efficiency. Lakeside Energy from Waste, turning rubbish into power.